walk me through your draft weekend then when you went uh, completely undrafted and how that's helped shape you today, Jacoby. Uh, man, that was, that was really just a tough experience. You know, it kind of, it was originally supposed to be just me and like my parents, my brothers just at the house. And then people started showing up. Everybody was so excited. So guys showed up, people showed up day one. We didn't really expect nothing. People showed up day two. It's kind of hoping, but didn't hear anything. But we started to hear that if you don't get drafted, we would like you. And I'm just like, it's day two. You know what I mean? We could kind of, you can kind of control that. But then again, I mean, nothing happened. Then day three, it was just kind of heartbreak, honestly. You just kind of expected to hear something. My phone would ring. My phone would ring. And it would be people asking me, like, did you hear anything yet? I'm getting all excited. Like, oh, who is this number? Uh, it's just a cousin you ain't talked to in a minute. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? So it was just a real roller coaster. So, I mean, it was tears. But at the same time, I was grateful that that teams had given me an opportunity after the draft to just go out there still earn some money and show people what I could do. So, so how did you I didn't really have too much time to be sad? How did you get the gig with the Patriots then? Did they call you up? Were you one of the teams? You went to New England? Like how did you then earn the gig with them? Um, I didn't really I didn't really have too many meetings mm-hmm. going into the draft. Right. But I did have one with the Patriots and I kind of was just a tag along. They came to see a teammate of mine, mm-hmm. included me in the meeting. I guess I kind of showed something. Yeah. And that kept my name around and they called me after. It was like, look, you got 15 minutes. How you want to do this? And then I was like, you know what? Y'all got Tom Brady, Bill Belichick. What kind of fool you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like straight like that. <laughs> so w- w- walk me through your first chit chat with Brady then. Mm, honestly, that was a that was kind of a cool moment. It wasn't really a full conversation, but I remember my first time seeing him. He came in the locker room. And he knew he knew all the guys' names, you know what I mean? I was an undrafted guy when we had we had all type of players on that team that year. So I mean we had Demaryius Thomas, you name it, honestly, Julian Edelman. So just for him to know the undrafted players' names, he knew all of our names and he showed love to us. So I definitely appreciate him for that. What was it like to be around Demarius Thomas? I just heard that name. I hadn't heard that one in a minute. It was a blessing, honestly. I know a couple of the undrafted players that year. I think he kept strong relationships with him after he left the team. Like, he was real. Man, he was just a real stand-up guy. And I honestly looked up to him a lot because if you didn't know his career, you would have just you would have just liked him as a person. Like, he didn't, he didn't come off as one of those guys who had been in the league. He just came off as a good dude who wanted to talk about his life, if you asked him. Just a real calm dude. So, that was it was a blessing, honestly, me, DT. I really appreciate that time. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.